express a number in index form. In previous videos, we have learned how to find the value of an index number. In this video, we are going to discuss how to find the index form for a given number. Let's start with these five uh, numbers. Okay, the first one is uh, 1 million. Um, this one is easy uh, because we can straight away tell that uh, this is equal to 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, six times, uh, because we have six zero here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, times 10 uh, or 10 multiplied by itself for six times. Uh, and this is equal to 10 to the power of six. This one is easy. Okay, B, um, 0 0.0081. Uh, we know that 81 is equal to 9 multiplied by 9. And we also know that 9 actually is, is equal to 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 uh, and then times uh, 3 times 3. Okay, so this is equal to 3 to the power of of 4 okay so 81 equal to 3 to the power of 4 okay and this one we have 0 0.0081 and we have four decimal places here and therefore we can deduce that this is equal to 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 yeah? 0 0.3 times uh, itself or multiply by itself for four times and this is equal to 0 0.3 to the power of four okay so this is how we find or how we write uh, numbers in index form okay um c negative 32 okay you should be able to tell that uh, 32 actually is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 Okay. However, this is negative numbers, and therefore, uh, to get negative 32, then it need to be negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. And this is equal to brackets negative 2 to the power of 5. Okay. D, uh, 1 over 1 to 5. Eh? Okay, so you should be able to tell that 1 to 5 actually is equal to 5 times 5 times 5. Okay, um, therefore 1 over 25 is equal to 1 over 5 times 1 over 5 times 1 over 5. And this is equal to uh, brackets 1 over 5 to the power of 3. Okay, now for this one you can also write it this way. Okay. 1 over 5 to the power of 3. Okay. E, 16 over 81. Okay. We can tell that 16 is equal to 4 times 4. And it's also equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And 81 is equal to... Okay. So we have it here. Okay. 81 is equal to 9 times 9 equal to... Uh, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 equal to 3 to the power of 4, okay? So this is uh, 2 to the power of uh, 4, okay? So 16 over 81 can be 4 over 9 square, or it can be 2 over 3 to the power of 4, okay? So this is how we write uh, numbers in index form. Now let's see another example. Let's start with A. A. 1 over x to the power of 4. Now if you still remember, we learned that A to the power of negative n equal to 1 over A n. Okay. So 1 over x to the power of 4 is equal to x to the power of negative 4. Okay, B, uh, square root of P to the power of 6, square root of 
p to the power of 6. Okay. Um, in previous videos, we learned that a to the power of 1 over n is equal to the nth root of a. And, and a to the power of m over n is equal to the n root of a to the power of m. Okay, so uh, this is a square root. Square root means that uh, this is a second root. Square root is a second root. Okay, so uh, therefore, by using this formula, we can tell that this is equal to p. The denominator is 2 and the numerator is 6. Okay, uh, the, this is a denominator. Okay, and this is numerators to be the power. And therefore, this is equal to 6 over 2. Okay, and this is equal to 6 over 2 equal to 3. So this is the cube or power of 3 or index 3 for p. Okay, um, c. 1 over square root of y to the power of 7. Okay. So um, straight away we can tell that this one actually is the uh, root of 2. Okay, square root is the root of 2. So this is 1 over y to the power of 7 over 2. Okay, and then so by using this formula, okay, then we can tell that uh, this is equal to y to the power of negative 7 over 2. Okay. Question D, square root of 1 over y and then to the power of 5. Okay. Okay, now this is the reciprocals of y. Yeah? Okay, we can, uh, we can solve this one first. Okay, so this will be y to the power of negative 5 okay because uh, 1 over y is the reciprocal of y by using this formula you can straight away tell that uh, this is equal to y to the power of negative 5 and then uh, square root is the root of 2 here and therefore uh, this is equal to y to the power of the denominators is 2 and the numerators is negative 5 okay Last one. One over the cube root of g to the power of seven, right? Okay. So um, let's solve this this part first. Okay. So this is equal to one over um, g. The denominator is 3 and the numerator is 1. G actually is a g to the power of 1. So this is 1 over 3. Okay. And to the power of 7. Okay. Now by using this formula here, we can tell that this is actually equal to g to the power of negative uh, 1 over 3. And then to the power of uh, 7. And then this is equal to g to the power of negative uh, 1 over 3 times 7. It becomes 7 over 3. So this is the index form for uh, this number. And this is how we express uh, numbers or functions in index form.